so we're gonna check out some old bizarre medical photos link to this video in the description and uh, I haven't watched this yet so oh yeah so yeah we're gonna check this out together that wouldn't be fun to have to live with huh Cutaneous horns. Man, could you imagine? If I had one of those, I'd, I'd sharpen the shit out of it, though. Shape it into something. Something. I mean, unless it hurts. I wonder if it hurts. I bet you it's like a, like a fingernail. We'll have to look into that one. Genesis Imperfecta. Mr. Glass, maybe? Maybe that's where I heard that before. I mean, if you've seen the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. Pretty upbeat music for such a drab situation, huh? That would have had to have been horrible. I'm just gonna throw that out there, good God. Discrepancies. I mean, really, what can you say about some of this stuff, huh? Pelvic congestion syndrome. Those veins in the lower abdomen. You know, that can't feel comfortable. I've seen people with those in their legs. <laughs> Nose reconstruction? What is happening there? Syphilis did that? Holy shit! Wow. What was he doing? Oh, was he, mm, I ain't gonna say it. I'm gonna keep, I ain't gonna say it. We're gonna try to keep it a little bit, uh, as PG as possible. Yeah, what can you say? I can't say much about it. What is that? Hypernormal. So it's a fat tumor? Bro, I've got fat tumors. Almost positive. Uh, mine's not on my head or my neck. Mine's more like in my midsection area, you know. Yeah, torso. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Is that the back of a head? Good grief. These are all these fatty tumors. Holy balls of flailing shit. Sorry, I got a bigger, I've got a bigger version of it over there so I can see it better. If you're wondering what's happening. Maybe I should do one of these, but you know. Good grief. Elephantiasis. 
I saw that one time in somebody's genitals. For real. It's not pretty. I don't know how the guy even sat down, to be honest with you. I don't know how he even sat down. Good night. You're like having your own cushion. Scoliosis. That looks painful. Painful as shit. So how many of y'all, like, check out old medical photos and videos and stuff like that on a, on a whim? Just because you, you're sick and twisted like me. I'm just going to say it, okay? Sick and fucking twisted like me, I guess. But yeah, raise your hand if you do the same thing. Out of boredom. Or curiosity and the morbid factor. That's probably more like it. Hair growth disorder. I mean, that's not terrible. That's terrible. Fuck, leprosy looks like it sucks. That looks like a crocodile skin. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I bet they have to amputate that stuff. Ooh, or do you think it falls off on its own? Debreedment and such. Thyroids. Well, I guess it kind of looks like hers is poochy. Kind of looks like a thin lady. I was just thinking about uh, getting a tattoo also. Uh, mm -mm. Terrible. That'd be horrible, wouldn't it? I mean, there's just no words for some of this stuff. Because you know back when that shit was going on, like that, for example. Fuck. That, for example, that had to have been horrible. You know, medical science then wasn't nearly what it is now, obviously. But Jesus. An unknown disease? That's scary. Well, I hope you guys enjoy the nightmares just like I'm going to.